Hey, man, rap and the legs, man. We in South Carolina right now, man, doing the real big, doing big things, man. It's your favorite campaign, man, presidential worthy. Please put that vote in for me, man. But I got a special guest for us right now. I got fever in the building. We got a couple things we want to talk about for this moment right now. But first, introduce yourself, man. Let the people know who you is. Yo, my name is Fever. I'm with Fever Entertainment. Uh, last 20 years, I moved from North Carolina, been in New York for the last 20 years. Stumbled in the music industry and only been great things since then. Okay, okay. A little bit about me. Um, I started out just a guy with a camera, just filming shows and stuff like that. And then they noticed I had a camera, so artists would come up there and talk to me. Okay. So now I got all this content. So I start putting together a DVD because we're talking about 05. Right. So you had Smack DVD, you had the Come Up you DVD, you had King, Cocaine City with Frenchie. You had Street Heat, and I was grinding to the shine. Right. So I was bumping to a DJ one time, and he said, yo, you going to film this for me? Yeah, I got you. Went home, edited it, got it to him the next morning. He liked my work ethic and how I got it to him so fast. He said, well, look, I want you to come along with me because I do other shows. No big deal. I sent him in the club that night. I didn't think it was nothing. The next day, I meet him down in Manhattan. He's Alicia Keys' DJ. Stop playing. So, lo and behold, I did some tour shows with them. So, being that he was Alicia Keys' DJ, I bumped into everybody backstage, and I had killer content. How would, hold on, I just want to get, man, how was that experience, like, bumping into people like that? Because this was, like, one of your first times bumping into all these kinds of people, right? Being a country boy from North Carolina and New uh, York, Okay. lesson number one. I pretend I was the most important person in the room, and they gravitated towards me, and they opened up towards me. Didn't okay. ask for no pictures or nothing like that. They asked me, hey, you want to get in this picture? Stuff like that. A lot of them pretend like they knew me. I know they didn't know me. <laughs> but by me not being groupy, they, they right. said, this is somebody. We don't know who he is, but he's somebody, or he wouldn't be back here. Right. So, yeah, just, just, I just stayed humble, and it was about me at that moment. Okay. Salute to that, man. So, go on into more about that experience. So, you got there, you said you were up to a bunch of people, you had just met Alicia Key uh, and all that. So, what happened after that? Well, after that, I started putting the DVD together. Okay. Start traveling around uh, New York to Canada, down to Atlanta, Hip Hop Awards, Hip Hop Awards in Atlanta uh, for BET. Okay, okay. Just started meeting everybody. But then, the internet age came. Right. Jordan Tower. Mm. Used to be a friend of mine. Okay. Jo Jordan Tower came. Uh, World Star came. Right. So before I could get it out on DVD, it was already on War World Star the next day. Yeah. So that kind of fell. So I got into music management back then because I had enough connections and enough people and I had to know how. And so I got into music management. Right. So I managed a few artists. And what I'm doing now, because the industry it's just churning out anything. It became a numbers game. Right. I'm I'm out here to hear the real talent. Just okay. because a guy running a Walmart and knocked down the shelves, he gets signed the next day. He got no talent whatsoever. No disrespect to the people who run in the Walmart and knock down shelves. <laughs> but anyway, I want to bring real talent back to the scene. Okay. I don't want to lose music because we love it so much. I know it's near and dear to me, and I know it's near and dear to you. Definitely, definitely. So, with that being said, right, so that means you created like an ear for this type of music, right? So, yeah. like, so you better hear things, Then I know you were saying that you started like these showcases and everything, right? Yeah, showcases. So into those, like how, how this whole showcase thing came about? Well, it actually came about by accident. Um, okay. I had about three artists that I was going to do a show with. Right. And then now we're in the internet age with Instagram. And once they posted that they was doing a show, uh, the inbox went crazy. Mm. The inbox went crazy. So it became a big thing. Right. So now I brought it to North Carolina and South Carolina and the Virginia surrounding area. So look out for Grind to the Shine. Fever Grind Entertainment shine. presents yes. Grind to the Shine. Okay, okay, and then so what if, what if I'm an artist and I wanna be a part of this Grind to the Shine? How do I get a part of this? Uh, well, you can go to my Instagram catch fever 22 and just hit me up and make sure you put in the DM, let's work. Let's if you don't work. put let's work in it, we ain't working. I heard that. that. That's very specific, man. I like that, man. So with that being said, man, what, what is it that these artists can look forward to if they was to get onto this grind to the shine? Well, what, what happened after that is if you're good enough and you're marketable and you're positive, 
I got another show that I do called a Hip Hop Rodeo, and it's going crazy. You can go to IG and go to the rodeo and we're going crazy so grind to the shine is like the training grounds okay. where i find my artists to go on hip hop rodeo and we all over the country mm. and we also have a what's gonna make it crazy we also have a video game called the rodeo rumble okay and what this game actually does big they got yeah. a video game for y'all so what this game actually does you want to play that so what this game actually does is we have the artists in the game and we have the artist music in the game. So what? you can hear it in the background. I hear it. So this is something that the music industry have never and seen this before. This artist. That playing. particular artist. His name is Hellraiser Blazer. This is dope, man. This is freaking fire. And y'all developed this? We developed it all in-house. This concept been um, being developed over the last 10 years. I'm getting my ad beat, by the way, though. Yeah. <laughs> so um, this is the real deal. This is the real deal. This right. is dope, man. This is real dope. I got to say, man, for y'all to even create something like this dope for artists to be able to be a part of a video game and have their music, then, like, that's something out of the box. And a tour. And a tour. And a tour, man. That is, like, that's mind-blowing, man. Yeah. I want to personally salute you for even getting stuff like this together for artists because a lot of artists don't have an opportunity to even get part of things like this. And yeah. then, like, it, his act, the actual artist was in the in the game. Hold on, I gotta let y'all see this. This is an actual artist's name up there, the health light. You can actually move, press buttons to fight and stuff. This is freaking fire. This is his and he got his music playing. And the game, dope, man. the game updates every month with new music, new background, so it's infinite. That's that is dope. I gotta cap it up for you for that one, man. Definitely gotta Thank cap you. that one. Shout out to Inferno Labs on the development. Yes, sir. They've man. been developing games. For the last 10 years. And to come up with that is dope, man. Let the people know again where to find you, um, how, what's your name, where to find you at on social media and all those type of things. Catch Fever 22, put in the DM, let's work. Let's work. Man, that's right, man. We gonna work, man. I wanna give a special shout out to Fever coming on the show, man. One good cap up real quick. Man, definitely, definitely, man. And tap in with him, man, because that, that's doing something big right there. That's real big, man. So definitely tap into your boy Fever. We're going to get it in, man. Rap Analytics, we still in South Carolina, still doing big things, man. So let's get into it.